So, uh, it, it, it started raining while I was gonna try to record, and, and, and I know it's gonna probably put some background noise here in the audio, but just, just bear with me. It'll be okay. Just have some thunder and... Thunder and rain happening, I guess. I'll, I'll try to get that out, but, uh... Sorry. Hi guys, welcome to another video where today I'll be reading and answering the Friendship Conversation Starter questions from Interesting Conversation Starters World. Link to that site in the description. So, question number one. What quality do you value most in your friends? I value loyalty. Over my limited lifespan, I've had many, many people run away from me when I needed them while I was always there to help. So far, I have four people like that, and the rest of the population of the world hasn't done so great. Question two. Are any of your friends completely opposite to you, or are most of them similar to you? Most of my friends are half similar, half opposite to me. I attract all sorts of people, and while we're all starkly different, we also hold some amount of similarity. Question three. Do you make friends easily, or do you find it difficult to make new friends? I find it difficult to make friends most of the time, but when I'm being myself, I tend to easily attach myself to people and make friends. Question 4. What are the most common reasons for friendships to fall apart? Depression, in my case. I've had many a friendship fall apart because I was depressed or because the other was depressed. My four good friends, the ones I mentioned in question 1, always stick by me when I'm down and I can always stick by them. They're very understanding, but I've had quite a few people run away, either because they're too big a wuss to accept the fact of the matter, or they just can't handle the fact that I'm human and I have bad days too. Question 5. Who is your strangest friend? What makes them strange? My strangest friend is one of my best friends, and the reason he's strange is because he's semi-sociopathic and incredibly smart. I like to call him the true Sherlock of the group. Like, if he's Sherlock, I'm Watson. Question six, are you a good friend? Why or why not? I'd say I'm a good friend as of now, but most of the time I think I'm not. I serve as the emotional pillar of the group and I try to keep everyone happy. Most of the time that works, but when I'm down I get angry and tend to hurt my friends on accident. And I feel like a terrible person on account of that sometimes. But eh, I guess I'm a good friend. Question 7. What is the best way to meet new friends? So far, my best way of meeting new friends is just saying hi. I don't have a problem walking up to a total stranger and introducing myself with a hello. It's something I just do. Question 8. What separates true friends from acquaintances? My true friends stay with me and I enjoy talking to them for long periods of time. My acquaintances, I don't really talk to that much, but they're very sweet and I enjoy their company when I decide to say hello. Question 9. Who is your oldest friend? How did you meet them? My oldest friend is a girl I met at the age of one and a half. She was my neighbor when we moved into the neighborhood, and we've been friends since I moved in. Question 10. What's a big favor you've done for a friend? How about a big favor that a friend has done for you? Well, I don't have a big favor that a friend has done for me because I don't really ask for much most of the time, but I've tutored friends. I've helped friends with projects. I think that the biggest thing I've ever done for a friend are the many times I've stood up for my best friend. I protect him, and he serves as my emotional rock. It's a symbiotic relationship, and I would not hesitate to break someone for his benefit. Question 11. What is the most annoying type of friend? I'm not sure yet. I haven't met him. Anyhow, I know this was different. Um, I really do apologize for the rain. It's just starting to rain harder down here, and, and it's thundering, and it's it's not very nice. Um, I, I really do apologize. I don't mean that to happen, but I didn't have any script ideas, and I had to get this one recorded and ready. I'm, I'm pretty swamped for the next year or so because of school, so I have to get things done quickly. You might see a lot of these kind of things in the future. Also, because of English class, I have two new series ideas. The first one is called Book Talk, and basically I'll review books in that one. Well, why they're good, why they're bad, you can suggest books for me to read, and I might see about it. I read horror and fantasy, so I prefer that, but I don't mind a lot of things. The second series is Quick Write, 
which will basically be me reading my quick writes from English class. Mine are the ones that are somewhat well written, at least in my opinion. So maybe you'll find them interesting. The, the point is really just to save time, for real. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.